Eastwood. Uh, yeah. Oh shit! I knew something behind it. Well, who are you? We are paranormal. We are a group of paranormal investigators coming together to put ourselves in hair-raising situations facing some of our biggest fears. Our group consists of Mike Minnick, 10 years of experience investigating from Paranormal Encounters Wisconsin. Mike has the knack to bring out the spirits and communicate. He is a sensitive and has spirits follow him wherever he goes. Jeremy Zulke squirms. He's a newer investigator in the group, likes to observe and get a sense of the energy around us. CJ Johnson, three years of experience. The person willing to do what it takes to find the paranormal will go anywhere and is a fearless investigator. Laura Thiel, three years experience, very sensitive to spirits, likes to roam haunted location. She also brings a much needed female perspective to the group. Nate Hopwood, eight years experience, founder of Richwood Investigators of the Paranormal, a sensitive who has a knack of channeling spirits to communicate with. He also has spirits that follow him everywhere he goes. They have all come together to form We Are Paranormal. Shira County Historical Museum in Watoma, Wisconsin. The museum is located in the Old County Jail, which was built in 1908. The sheriff and his family lived in the front and the prisoners were housed in the back. In 1979, the building became a public museum. It includes a schoolroom, bedrooms, kitchen, county store, jail cells, doctor's room, dispatcher's office, music room, parlor, war room, a research room containing obituary and court case indexes. It also houses so many wonderful artifacts of the county and is a hidden treasure. There is a research room in the basement. This is also where the infamous Ed Gein was jailed for a short time. Edward Theodore Gein, also known as the Butcher of Plainfield or the Plainfield Ghoul. Gein's crimes committed around his hometown of Plainfield, Wisconsin, gathered widespread notoriety in 1957 after authorities discovered he had exhumed corpses from local graveyards and fashioned trophies and keepsakes from their bones and skin. Gein also confessed to killing two women, tavern owner Mary Hogan in 1954 and hardware store owner Bernice Warden in 1957. Gein was initially found unfit to stand trial and confined to a mental health facility. By 1968, he was judged competent to stand trial. He was found guilty of the murder of Warden, but he was found legally insane and was remanded to a psychiatric institution. He died at Mendota Mental Health Institute of Respiratory Failure on July 26, 1984. He aged 77. The crew investigated this building on two separate nights both nights using different trigger objects to bring out the spirits in this building. One of the spirits is Ed Gein. Another one is his mother, Augusta Gein. There is also a German soldier in the upstairs jail and in the attic, the kids like to play hide and go seek. This is the investigation and what they discovered. 
On this night, we had a very special guest investigator with us, whose name is Tammy Reepsdorf. As the crew is finishing getting set up with their equipment all throughout the museum, Mike and Nate go to the jail cell where Ed Gein's possessions are located. Mike is getting set up to do a TikTok live when we start to get voices. Am I cutting in and out, you guys? The lost connection. Right as Mike says that he loses connection, a voice comes through and says, get out. The lack of a reaction from Nate and Mike makes us believe this was caught by the camera's audio and not from the Bugsy box that was running. Was the spirit telling us to get out because it did not want us there? The lost connection. The conversation between two spirits. Mike starts to explain on his TikTok live about Ed Gein as we prepare to take the knife out and other possessions of Ed's and hand them to Mike. This is his first time handling the knife. From from yeah, he didn't he make a doorbell. He had a doorbell. He had a doorbell with a nipple on it. He also did upholstery of chairs with skin. Random things, lampshades. He made like ashtrays out of skulls, I think, and bones. Yep. Um, yeah, he would. He was a sick, sick man. Uh, my stomach's actually. Uh, Is it? Yeah. Uh, so I can tell you're nervous. Though. I'm nervous just even thinking about touching this uh, this knife, but I'm gonna do it tonight because <clears throat> this investigation I've been waiting for for a while, and uh, I'm kind of excited about it and to see what happens. The only other thing that's in here is the knife. Uh, all right, so you ready for that? You guys, you guys want to see me hold the knife? You guys ready for it? Let me get some likes and some yeses if you guys want to see me hold this knife. This is the knife. This is the knife that was used. There's so, the likes. There's some likes. All right. There's a yes. Of course you would, Raina. All right, here we go. You guys ready for this? I'm gonna hold that. There's another yes. Alright, you want, you want to show the camera before you hand it to me here, just so they're not, uh... This is the knife right so here. So this right here is the knife that, uh, uh Chris, Nate actually owns the knife. This is my knife. Yeah. This isn't so, uh, Ed's anymore. This is my Yeah, so we're not, we're not going to discuss how he got it or anything, but he, he has the knife, it's in his possession. Um, I can just tell him yeah. real quick. I got it from another paranormal investigator who got it from the, um, from the Ed Gein, there was a um, auction for Ed Gein stuff, and this is part of it. He got it from that. Uh, this is in a show, Discovery Plus, called Ed Gein, The Real Psycho. Yep. You can see this knife, Tom Dyer, the gentleman gave it to me. Yeah, so. and you can actually Google it too. It's I, I actually I Googled it too, and I've seen pictures of this, and this is yeah. the knife. So um, this is a, you guys are killing it on the likes. We're almost at three thousand likes right now. Wow. Grandmother had a knife, just like, yeah, I would imagine back then, <laughs> I'd imagine back then those knives were, uh, you can see where he sharpened it, okay, I'm, now I'm getting nervous, alright, so I'm gonna grab this knife right now and hold it in my hands, so I can get, uh, so we can get the energy going here, um, oh, yeah. so here we go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab it, oh man, so here we go, I have it in my hand, uh, all right, so I'm, I'm gonna squeeze it. Oh my. Oh my, all right, so. All right, so if, if, I don't know if you guys can see it real good, but this is actually like a leather. Look at the look at the hair on my finger standing up. Oh, or or just shot like right. Yeah, at the, yeah, it is. Oh my God, dude. dude the man. hair, the hair on my fingers are standing up. That's insane. I don't know if you guys can see it. Can you see the hair on my fingers like stand straight up? I'm getting a headache now. Uh, my, yeah. Uh, there's orbs all over right now. I can see them. Um, uh -huh. So anyways, I was just... Uh, the, <laughs> see? Every time I touch that knife or I have it in my hand, it's... Uh, I'm getting, uh, uh, there's a strong, uh, there's a strong feeling. So, uh, so that, that's, it's like a, uh, Jesus Christ, dude. I know. 
All right, so it's it's like a leather handle. Uh, you can actually see where his, his fingerprints were like indented into this knife from holding it. You can see them like right there and right there. Um, the blade, if you look at the blade, there's actually hair fibers still on this blade. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. There's actually hair particles on this blade still. Uh, yeah, I'm very tongue-tied. I'm actually like, I'm shaking. Like, you guys can't see it, but I'm shaking, like, holding this thing. Uh, I have so many emotions, like, running through me right now. It's insane. Um, just, like, even looking at it and just knowing what he did with this knife. Um, and for real, if anybody doesn't know about Ed Gein, Google it. There's documentaries on it. Um, watch them and you, you'll see why I'm so nervous to hold this knife. Um, wow. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm, uh, um, yeah. It's, uh, it's crazy. CJ comes into the jail cell with a tri-field meter, sets it on the cabinet, and then we start getting all kinds of activity coming through and setting off our devices. It just it jumped up to a four. It's still bouncing. You see that? Holy cow, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to give this back to him for now. Oh my god, I got to hit it bad. Yeah. All right, I'm going to give this back to him for now. We'll bring it back out later. Uh, but right now I'm going to hand it back because it's really affecting me. Um, yeah. So, oof. Oh, yeah. so there that was. Um, <laughs> I'm actually real quick going to turn on uh, the Bugsy box, which I made. Look at it, look at it. Dude, oh my, oh my god. Dude, oh my god, it just jumped to a 10. Look at this, look at this. Look at it jumped to a 10. I'm recording this. Where's my phone? Oh, I'm recording that. I don't know if you guys I got the camera right here. This is a tri-field meter so right here. It just it. went nuts. Well, it's not on that, no, but here I did. It was going nuts. Yeah. Let me see if I put the, uh, Mr. Gein's knife here. Look at that. Oh my! All right, let's oh my God! Look at this. Putting, look at the, that. putting the knife next. To oh this. my God! That oh, is amazing. Where's my torch? Can we get this recording? Look at this. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh my God! Dude. You've got to be shitting me. There's no, that just over a hundred. Never done that. Over a hundred. That shows a lot of energy right there in that knife. So if anybody thought that that knife ain't legit, my whole right arm is just down. The meter just went nuts. Just off oh, camera, wow. Nate hands the knife to Tammy, it's the guest well, investigator. After she holds it, I wonder, wait, 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 things start to go downhill for her, right and she's definitely affected. Look at that! Look at this. Oh my God! From holding the knife, dude. Look at that! Energy. From holding the knife. We set a camera on the cabinet Whose knife was where the this? Bugsy box was to catch the audio. We did not know we were catching Tammy's reactions after holding the knife. Were you a victim of this knife? Yeah. After Tammy asked, were you a victim of this knife? A woman's voice comes through and says yes. After holding the knife and listening to some of the responses on the Bugsy box, Tammy has to go take a break. Tammy goes out to the hallway of the jail cell and gets very emotional. CJ and Squirms go to the attic where there's known to be children's spirits. They set up a camera and a paranormal music box. 
The Paranormal Music Box is designed as a trigger sensor that sends out low ultrasonic pulses which bounce back much like radar waves. When something crosses it, then the creepy music plays and there's a light on top that lights up. As CJ turns on the music box, it plays for three to five seconds as it tries to calibrate in the room that it's in. Ten minutes after CJ and Squirms go back downstairs after setting up, we get some activity and the paranormal music box goes off. <coughs> Nate and Mike decide to go to the doctor's office. They go in there and set up some equipment, still trying to channel Augusta and Ed Gein. We're back. We are back. And we are. <laughs> we are. Paranormal. Mike decides to put a picture of Augusta Gein up as a trigger object. What happens 20 minutes later is nothing short of creepy and amazing. Ed, do you know who this woman is? Do you know who that woman is, Ed? <laughs> what? Oh, that's not me. He goes, I said no. Yeah. Do you know who that is, Ed? Exactly right. This is Augusta, is that you making that light up? Well, you know when it's Augusta. When it's Augusta, she f you about bad. Yeah. I know, dude. They burn. I was gonna say they burn yeah, right through you. Yeah. Ed, who is this woman? Do you know that woman? I want to hear, I want to hear Augusta's name come through the box. <clears throat> Go ahead. Oh, that just said right Augusta. There. Augusta. Did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, like, yeah. yeah. Did it that's say her. Again? Yeah, that's her. They go, Augusta. Yeah. That's her. Okay, that's oh, it. Okay, that's it. Is Augusta a bad person? Is she a bad woman? Yes. Yes. Did she treat her son, Ed Gein, very poorly? You know I did. She says, you yes. know I did, yeah. Augusta, you're in here, huh? You feel me now? Yeah. yeah. You hear that? Oh my God. Wow, dude, I just got goosebumps on my fucking I'm, yeah, I'm in, edge yeah. of my television. Yeah, so am I. Yes, we can feel you. Oh my God. It got colder in here. You feel me now? We all got instantly. Augusta. Augusta. Dude, this is <laughs> Why did you do what you did to your son? It was his sins? Is that what it said? It might have. I don't think that those were his sins. I think that, uh... Yours? Said yours. I don't think Ed Gein was a bad man. Very? I really don't think he was a bad man. I think Ed Gein was sick. Dude, I got my stomach is fucking like. 
She's she's in here because yeah. I can feel I am it. Freezing. My Augusta, legs are frozen. And you even have like your vest that's here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Augusta, if you're in here, can you touch this thing and make it light up for us? Can you touch that? Augusta. What? Did it just say yes? Yeah. Do you remember affecting me the last time I was here? Do you remember that? I think she's trying to keep him away. She is. She's very protective of Ed Gein. Yeah. And I was talking. Well, I wasn't talking. Well, I was talking to Ed Gein the last time I was here. She came through in that room and she lit up, lit that REM pod off, mm -hmm. and like it was. I think I was doubled over. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Augusta, are you protecting Ed right now? Naked. Naked. Yeah, that's what he said. Augusta, I think you were a bad woman. I don't think you, uh. Yeah, I think you were, uh. I think you were very bad to, to your son, Ed. I think you made him believe things that, that weren't true. I think that you made him do the things that he did and made him the way he was. <laughs> As Mike is explaining what his thoughts are on Augusta and who he thought she was, we get this response. If you think that you weren't you a bad person, shut the hell up again. That, if you think you weren't a bad person, make that light up. She's gonna mess with you. Yeah, I, I just said yeah. she's gonna mess with you. Sometimes like in the moment, we hear like certain like things, but when we go back and listen to the audio, oh, shit. it is not what it said. Like, oh, this is one of those occasions. You're gonna feel sick. Did you hear that? And yeah. I felt, I feel sick. I, that's why I was asking you where your, yeah, I was asking I, where your I stomach feel nauseous. Just, That's what it happened to me. Are you making me feel nauseous? At the same time that Mike points to his stomach, a voice comes through the Bugsy box that says, you're gonna feel sick. Is this the spirit of Augusta Gein not liking that Mike is giving his opinion of how she was when she was alive, affecting him in a way that makes him feel sick? They just said Laura. <laughs> the guy's name. Mm. Laura. Mm. Uh, I just said her. I said her name, and it says mm. we see her. I see her, and then I just said Laura. Yeah. Fucking yeah, like, you, you need to stop. Uh, my, my neck's burning. You need to back up off of me now. You're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to make, you're not allowed to touch me. You're not allowed to make me sick. Augusta, I'm talking to you. That was German. Yeah, yeah. it was. Yeah. That was yes, German. it was. Yep. God, her eyes. I can't even look at I know, picture, that dude. hurts me to look at that picture. It just makes my stomach turn. You're not allowed to touch me. You're not allowed to make me sick. I'm protected. Oh, my stomach's dirty. Knock that picture off of there, then. Knock the picture off of there. It was German for that was. That was crazy. 
Your name is Sarah. 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 As you went so by. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've been called. You've been summoned. Are you dirty? Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. So, you asked for Laura. Here she is. You got something to say? <clears throat> Ed, why did you do what you did? What made you do that? How many people did you kill? Can he talk or is his mom not okay with that? Yeah, yeah, his mom's not. Go for it, Ed. Do it. Here she comes again. Augusta, you coming back in the room? Mm. It just said Ooh. Ed, no. You, I'm, it just I'm said freezing Ed. right now. You already got when you said before she even did it, I could oh, feel it. Oh, as you were doing well, that, it's do it. So we, we said, do uh, it. We asked if he was, uh, Coming back, or we asked, what'd she say? If she, if she, she said, said coming, coming no. back, yeah. And Augusta, and are no. you in and here? And all of a sudden, you guys got yeah. Yeah, the it same was, time. It was a safe. It was something. Ed, tell me how many people you killed. It sounded like you said you filled me. Yeah. Like you filled you me. Why did you kill? No, cut her head off. He said. Notice it. Yeah. Cut her head off. Why did you do that to those innocent women? Old misses. Old misses. Something. Said it again. With what? How is he gonna see? What you gonna do? <clears throat> no, I thought I said it will stab you. Remember what I said a little earlier? Okay, that's it. Yeah. That's not. What the fuck is that? Why is it doing that? Watch, 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 watch. Knock it all the way down. <gasps> Knock it down. Knock it down. Take it off the desk. Do it. Pull it down. Are you embarrassed? You don't want to see yourself? Pull that down. Do right it now. now. Knock it off of there. There you go. Oh my goodness. Knock it off the desk. Pull that, pull it down. Pull your picture down. Pull it all the way down. Dude. Do pull it. it down. You don't want to see your face anymore? Next time on part two Ed, of the Washera County is this Historical your knife? Museum. I want to see you do something about this. That shit. Do not do that shit. Did touch you? My fucking shoulder. Get the fuck off of me, dude. The rub fucking just my, by my shoulder blade. Just fucking scratch it, dude. Like hard. No, other shoulder blade. Down, 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 down. God damn it. Fuck you. And then it fucking stopped, yep, dude. Yep. What the? Fuck? <laughs> There's something. What the? Fuck? Laura, are you getting anything? She's 